Well, this week's unsung hero story has a few we can call heroes, starting with a business owner in Union County who's using her skills and business to support local educators. Mm -hmm. Shelly Pinder is a wood flower florist and the owner of Fluttering Blooms Designs in Jonesboro. She's also a vendor at Country Roads Flowers and Gifts in Jonesboro with owners Liz and David Wilkins. Shelly wanted to make sure this year's Valentine's Day was special for teachers or school staff members. To help the community give back, well, she came up with tulips for teachers. Now, this is a sponsorship where people could order wood flower tulips to be delivered to their favorite teacher or staff member. Shelly says wood flowers are a great alternative if you have allergies because they're eco-friendly, don't die, and are like real live flowers. Pender received 85 orders from people who wanted to show teachers across five local counties how appreciated they are. I know that they have had um, a rough two years. Um, I know the students have as well, um, but that's where my heart is, is with the teachers. We have several teachers in my family, and I just want them to know that they are appreciated, that all the hard work that they do um, is uh, very noticed. It doesn't go unnoticed. Now, Shelly was motivated to have tulips for teachers after watching her daughter, who is a teacher over the past two years is during the pandemic. The well, tulips were sponsored for $10 with a card and a message. She hopes to do it again next year and maybe switch it from Valentine's Day to Teacher Appreciation Week. To learn more about Fluttering Blooms designs and wood flowers, you can look on the link posted that I'll have after the newscast. Now, to me, the teachers, those who sponsor the flowers, and Shelly, are all heroes. Mm -hmm. But who is your unsung hero? Now